Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Binding of Isaac, my official part one. Um, this is going to be a a simple game in the sense that um, I won't be beating it. I don't think. I got Eve. Or I think I'll start off my first play with actually playing as Isaac. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into the game. Um, as far as what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to do probably nothing too over the top. I'm a bit of a rookie, but I'm, I'm aware of the game. Um, Isaac's the basic character. The game uh, talks about, or the game centers on Isaac, who is a, uh, a child, whose uh, mother <laughs> uh, is a bit of a religious fanatic and gets spoken to by, uh, by God, who tells her to uh, kill her only son. So yeah, so we're going to start this off simply enough uh, just by kind of get the game we got piercing shots cool so uh, if you guys couldn't already tell it's got sort of that bottom uh, that top down perspective that like uh, old school Zelda games uh, had and so this game is very much like a, a love letter to older uh, video games and whatnot each of the levels are completely randomly generated so oh wow piercing shots they have no uh, there's no uh, kickback, so to speak, or recoil from the enemies. Um, so yeah, so each of the levels are completely randomly generated. Um, each of the uh, items you find are randomized as well, where the locations of everything is as well, enemies, everything. So it's all random, every playthrough is completely different. Your chances, it's all luck, uh, kind of just like a mixture of luck and skill to decide if you're going to make it to the end. Um, other than that, not too much else to say. Uh, there'll be a couple mechanics as we get along the way uh, to get used to, but right now uh, we have just a couple of upgrades. So we have piercing shots, so that means we can go through enemies. And uh, in the top right, we see we have a life counter. Most enemies only take about uh, half of uh, a heart until it gets a little later. And they can take upwards of a whole heart and maybe even more. I'm not too 100% certain. We start off with Isaac, he starts off with a bomb and not a heck of a lot else. Uh, pretty. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to use my bomb as wisely as I can. So with that, I got two spirit hearts, because there's a tinted rock just over here. And a key with mom's underwear, that means range up. Ew. <laughs> this game's kind of funny in that sense. The power-ups are a little bit, uh, not what you would expect. So the goal, of course, is going to be, I'm going to actually go back and, after I collect that heart, I'm going to go back and I'm going to try collecting a, um, the hearts that I le had uh, left over from the other part. You notice the map in the top left kind of gives you direction about what's going on. You've got your shop, your item room, which gives you uh, one sort of... It's on the first level, it's a free item, no matter what, um, as long as you go and you check it out. There's also, uh, later on, they'll all become key locked, and eventually they don't. Uh, they aren't even a part of the main level design. So it appears she's just a little different for me, because I'm not used to going through uh, my enemies. My enemies. So I haven't done too many playthroughs, you guys haven't missed me collecting all that, really, anything. And the beauty of the Binding of Isaac is not so much, like, any single part you're really missing anything, other than if maybe I succeed. Uh, like I said, it, this won't be a main focus, I won't be doing hundreds of parts, like the uh, very famous Northern Lion. But, I wanted to change up, I wanted something a little different, a little fun, something to... You know, take my mind off of all the editing and all the time I put into <laughs> some of my other content. Keep me distracted, keep you guys happy, keep content flowing, keep the juices flowing, if you you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't even know what the next word's gonna come out my Why is he puking? That's not a good idea. Stop it. Stop it, Monstro. You're so cute, though. Isn't the, the art direction of this game is actually quite adorable. Mom's list of more range. I really don't think we need that right about now. I would love damage. But I've got, I'm feeling good. Three hearts, two spirit hearts. I've yet to beat the game. I've gotten some pretty outrageous builds from like the three runs that I've done. Um, noticing like some of the stuff that I do get. But uh, right now, I'm feeling like this. This could be okay. I could, I might. This might be the one. Maybe this is the one I finally actually beat. Um, Binding of Isaac's like playthrough. Even though you have to beat it like hundreds of times for to get the full experience and full enjoyment out of this game. And it, the great thing about this game, it's five dollars on Steam. If your computer can run it, buy this game. Uh, you know, even if you only do a few runs with it, it's totally worth it. Um, the average runtime runs about 40 minutes uh, as you, when you're kind of beginning to beat the levels. Um, less if you die. 
Oh my god, you guys are jerks. I'm not gonna like sneak into the corner. I'm not. No, I'm gonna kiss you. I have lipstick, but I'm not gonna kiss you. I'm not. I rated myself for dinner, and he didn't take return my calls. And why is an allergy? There we go. There's something. Got something to happen. So we got some flies. Gotta kill those guys. Let's see if I can like trick this guy. Oh, no. All right. So just like cry in the corner, you big baby. Oh my. God. Oh. oh, come on. I just lost uh, one and a half spirit hearts. Oh, brutal. Uh, spirit hearts aren't like regular hearts in the fact that they're simply temporary placeholders. Um, for These guys are like such terrible enemies. They just run away from my shots. I got to commit suicide, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then more bombs. Oh, good stuff. Um, yeah, they're basically uh, placeholder hearts in the sense that they aren't permanent. Um, I'm not gonna go to the shop yet until I find the item room actually. So let's go this way and see what I. Ooh. Two bombs? Is there any way I could bomb it so I could get. I wanna get that spirit heart. Oh. Well, I can't really. I don't really need to get that heart, anyways. Alright, cool. So I think that was worth it a spirit heart for a bomb. I should. I definitely. I should have had three full spirit hearts. That room was silly. Sillyly generated. The rooms are silly. But, uh. But yeah, there's going to be lots to talk about as far as gameplay goes. It's a fresh new game. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I can keep it interesting. Uh, for those of you who, uh, who know of this game, hopefully I can make it uh, at least slightly entertaining by taking lots of stupid damage. Wheel of Fortune. I have no idea what that is, but I'm going to go to the item room. And I got... Shroop, shoop, da whoop. So that looks like the guy from Charging My Lasers. Ooh, so this is Bomberman. Let's try this out. What? What? Oh. Oh, that's how that works. So, for those of you who wanted to know, um, Charge of Malazes uh, works by actually needing a command for me to confirm the shot once my mouse comes all weird like that and shoots a huge laser that probably does massive amounts of damage that I missed out on because, well, I'm short of retard. I just threw down a bomb for no reason. Nothing? Oh, a Wheel of Fortune puts down a slot machine. That's what I needed for this fight. Oh, that's what I really needed. A slot machine. Hope he doesn't blow up my slot. Oh, he just hurt himself. So be. Oh, oh, I can get the bombs back. That's good. There we go. And uh, oh, you should be dead. Not before taking. He should be dead. You dead. You're dead now. Just die. Ah. Okay, good. So now we've got. Um, cool, we got some bombs, which is fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Oh, man. Nothing. Maybe some hearts. Maybe be, be the nice Mr. Slot Machine. Maybe one. One thing. No, three. Three for nothing. Use the use a tarot card and now got a hell a buttload of nothing. Uh, the space bar, the space item. I'm actually using an Xbox 360 wired controller to play this game, um, which actually is not a, not a super simple setup. It took a little bit of uh, figuring out to get that to work, but anyways, uh, the space bar item, uh, that recharges as you go through rooms. It depends on, for that one, it's going to be, I have two more rooms that I need to uh, complete to get that fully charged. Oh, cool. We got like a free room. Um, I have no more keys than I need. Oh, man. Oh, boy. You have bombs if you have the money. Uh, there's a couple. Of, there's two. There's also a secret room in every area. I'm gonna take a chance. Ah, oh, yes. Lucked out, and I got a spider bite. Slowing effect. So I'm gonna slow my enemies. Which uh, I don't know if that replaces my projectile in the sense that it project a piercing shot. And now I have slowing shot. Do I have piercing and slowing shot? Yeah, I have piercing slowing shot. That's gonna be a really interesting combination. Oh, and I got a heart from this fight. Oh, they're being nice. Just, oh, look at that. Oh, so destructive on this boss. It's because it, it damages all the uh, all the uh, sections of Larry Jr. in a line. Larry Jr. being this guy. Hello, Larry Jr. Say hello to all the great and awesome YouTube fans. Oh, duh. YouTube loves you. The camera loves you, Larry Jr. Loves you. Love you more. Love you lots. Um, so this boss is proven to be kind of a joke. Oh, and not before I take some more range. That's what I wanted for Christmas. My parents were like, hello, Project Dark. 
How are you? You are just bored. What would you like for your first Christmas? And I was all like, range up. And they were like, what the fuck is... I don't know. Our kids fucked. And they sent them to a psych ward after that. So, anyways. So now we've got these cute looking guys. They look cute and dangerous. Cute and dangerous. Sounds like me. Oh, oh, two. I took two things of damage. Oh, that's good. I was worried that, I don't know, I'd take three. And I did. It's good. All right. I, I'm not concerned that... I'm embarrassing myself on camera and sucking bad. That's all right. One day I'll be the best at this game ever. The bestest ever at this game ever. Oh my god, there's so many flies. So many flies, so little time. Uh, okay, so let's get a key. No, no key. Okay, great. It's good. Productive. All right, we've got some of these guys coming out. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we might die this this room. We're really low on hearts. We've got some... We're low. Uh, okay. Okay, just gonna just keep it simple. Just keep just keep it simple, stupid. Kiss me. God damn it. No, no. Okay, and we got a coin. Oh, half a heart. Gish. Okay, these guys shoot in straight lines. Just be smart. Be smart, not stupid. Don't be stupid. Be smart. Be smart. <laughs> oh god, I can't even. I'm so focused, I can't even say anything of value. Oh, you're a bitch. You're a fucking. You know what? I'm gonna take a chance that that actually works. That doesn't work. Um, do it. I'm just as a test for myself. Yes, you have to blow it in a certain direction to get what you need. Now, the reason why I wasted a bomb like that uh, is because one, I'm retarded. I'm peeing myself at, in every room. That's really strange. That happened last time I played this game on camera. The Scroll of Doom. Dead Sea Scrolls. I don't even know what this does, but obviously I'm gonna use it more than whatever charge of my lasers was because I'm not good at. I'm gonna die. What does this do? I'm gonna wait until I feel like I'm in a pickle and I'm gonna use it. Uh, pickle room? Pickle. What does that do? I put radioactive pee on the ground and I, I died. Ah, <laughs> oh, and that's game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed this part. Uh, if you do, I will be making more. Uh, if you don't, I will be making more. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next part. And as always, have yourselves a great day.